Today, I'm going to show you how to build a photo booth. Super fast, super cheap. And best of all, you can keep it forever. What up, ninjas? This is Krista, adventure videographer and gadget guru. My photo booth build is so simple, literally anyone can put this thing together. I'm using the newer ring light, super thin, lightweight model, along with an iPad Pro. It's 11 inches and no button. That makes it even simpler for people that are using it because, hello, the button, everybody just wants to press it. They're like, <laughs> and then of course, if you have software up, oh my God, it, it goes right out of it. Here's how you build it. You take the light stand, attach the ring light. So it comes as two pieces when you first get it. So you just put it on there and then you attach the clamp. Now this one attaches to the base and then you just put your iPad in like so. Woo! Now I put it down just a little bit so it's resting on this part of the ring light. That keeps it from bobbling around too much and you'll get clear pictures that way. Next up, we have the sign. You need this sign so people know it's a photo booth. Duh. The awesome thing about this photo booth is that it's super portable and lightweight, so you can just hoist it on your shoulders and take it anywhere you want. Like, psh, it's a one-man show. I'm putting it on my back, and I can put other things in my hand and just strut, you know? Like, you're not carrying boxes and boxes of gadgets to get to your destination, several trips to the car, ugh having like minor flashbacks of those moments. Since it's super portable, I can take it into parties, move it around the venue. And shoot it around inside, outside, take it to photo shoots, make videos with it. It's a great content creator tool in that sense. Okay guys, in the next few days, I'm releasing a sequel to this video, going into more detail on these techniques. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. When you're looking at software for your tablet or iPad, you just wanna make sure it's simple, intuitive, easy to use, and most of all, it's shareable. There's gotta be some share buttons so that way people can promote themselves on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, get that social recognition for being where they are in that picture. The key is that they're able to share it right then. You don't want to post these pictures later on some like random gallery where people will share it after like nobody cares about it anymore. Okay, so once you've shared your image, it goes to the online gallery, and then it just starts right from the beginning. The interface is super easy, so I've taken it to a wedding, and just for like a gathering, a family gathering, they kept coming back to it. I just can't say how easy it is, like you can just put it in your bag, you've got your tripod, you walk in, you don't have to worry about carrying in like a truckload of stuff. Super portable, fun, and easy, and you keep it forever. I would just take it everywhere from that point on. If you have any questions about iPad photo booths, leave a comment below or send me an email. Okay, now let's see it in action. In this experiment, we had two photo booths, one with a ring light and an iPad, 
and the other utilizing a full length mirror and a cell phone. And a mess load of props. Oh my gosh. So we literally took like 10 trips to the car. Ugh. I mean, but it was really helpful because we got to see which props people gravitated toward. <laughs> ones didn't work at all. By the way, don't get those huge bundles from Amazon because first of all, the sticks come separately. <laughs> so that kind of blew my mind. And then even the props came like dismantled. So we got to the party and unleashed these props. We're like, oh man, these take an additional setup. <laughs> oh man. God, it was chaos. Yeah, but once we got set up, it was time to party. <laughs> After we were all set up, the first prop to hit the dance floor was this crazy long green wig. I, I couldn't believe my eyes. A grown man had on my tutu. Yeah, it was truly fun for everyone. Like, little kids, adults, everyone loved these props. <laughs> so once you have your LED props set up, now's the time to get some special effects going. So this includes bubbles, Consider fog machines or strobe lights. <laughs> Whoops. What else should we use? So once you have your LED lights and your special effects, you're gonna want a costume and a costume you can party in. Oh yeah. So you could become, for instance, the beer guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
find them here as well and for you guys out there don't forget your star wars suit oh my gosh that's just so awesome i have to say someone hold out with this at the wedding we were at and it just totally <laughs> owned it throughout the entire night for sure Mastered. Now you want to add in the icing on the cake. So I had this killer idea that you look up your Bluetooth printer, so you're connecting it to your phone or your iPad, and it prints automatically. And the really sweet thing about this printer is that the paper actually has a self-adhesive backing, so you can peel it away and stick it anywhere you want. So for like a wedding, we had this idea to put together a scrapbook and paste the pictures in and write a little message to the bride and groom congratulating them on their wedding. And then using the chalk and the metallic paint markers to write in the photo booth scrapbook. But be careful because some printers print automatically or every picture and you may end up with some kids printing a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so it is cool to have your own software and be selective, like based on the pictures that you just took, you can choose to print it or not, instead of having every single one printed. Yeah, because you don't want to babysit your photo booth while you're trying to party. Exactly. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Okay, so one of the things we learned at this wedding is you can have as many photo booths as you want. We, there was the main photo booth, then we had a supplemental photo booth, and then we had the full-length photo booth for a total of three at one party, and they were all being used. But after talking with everyone in the crowd, this was their favorite photo booth, the iPad with the ring light. So let's check it out. So you just tap to start. So once you get your photos stripped with this simple booth software, you can actually do a few different modes. The, the crowd favorite again was doing the animated GIF at the end. And once you have your strip, you click next, and then you can text it to yourself, or you can email it, and then you just click done, and it's saved to a gallery that everyone has access to that you want. And don't forget your photo booth sign so everyone knows where to take the picture. All right, guys, leave a comment letting us know your favorite prop. And don't forget to check out the website for exclusive insider tips on photo booths. Or check out our YouTube channel to check out all of our cool videos. Woo! By the way, it's twowaymirrors.com. See you next time. I'm Audi 5000. I'm Audi 10,000. <laughs>